So yeah, it's not clickbait. I actually spent that much money and it's all for nothing. Uh, well, for YouTube at least. And for now at least. So let's get into it. Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Henry Sierra and thank you for clicking on this video. On my channel and throughout these videos you can find my brand called Adapting Creativity. Throughout this brand I talk about the approach, the perspective, and the mindset of being creative on this platform and, and on digital media and how to make that sustainable over time. So about a week ago, a week and a half ago, I made a video uh, called Your YouTube Creativity Has a Bigger Impact Than You Think. In that video I talk about freelancing and equipment and yeah, you should go watch that if you want to learn a little bit about the kind of equipment that I use for the videos that you see here and well, the freelancing company that I'm Building. But just using that video as a segue because it's a bit more specific with the equipment and talking about it um, I'm gonna talk about how much it was here. I spent around uh, well, a couple of thousand dollars on the equipment that I have bought and it's pretty useless to YouTube in, in the aspect of making videos. This is what I mean. If you guys watch my videos frequently, you may notice or may not notice that there is a quality upgrade and I didn't really say anything about it because I didn't want to make it a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more crisp of glass that I'm using. I'm actually using a 16-35mm lens. This is a ultra wide angle. It's f2.8 and it's version 3. I'll go ahead and like have a comparison of my old lens of the 18 to 55 and this one that I'm using now. Pretty big difference, pretty big difference in quality, glass, build, everything. This one is much better. Only thing is, it doesn't look different to you guys or much different at least. <coughs> because, well, getting a little bit technical, my camera, the sensor that captures the image, is smaller than what the lens can get. The lens is a bigger kind of opening than what my camera has. So you guys are pretty much seeing the same image that you were before, only it's crisp and not fuzzy and in focus for the first time. This lens itself was almost $2,000. Um, and then I got the 50mm that was in that other video as well as the Video Mic Pro. No, Video Micro. Vi Rode Video Micro. So that's the reason why it wouldn't matter to YouTube. Um, in terms of quality, sure, it will help a little bit. The only thing is is that it won't really matter as in like kind of aspect ratio or like the angle that you guys see everything at within this video. It might be a tiny bit wider. I think the focal length was like around like 24 to like 45 or something like that. So it's kind of weird right now. The things that this new equipment will actually help me with be in terms of like actually being productive and completing projects and things like that will be this freelancing photography and videography business that I'm starting of uh, adaptation creations. This kit lens, uh, sure it is good for starting and learning and it's a great lens for that actually because that's, if you're starting on this, good job, keep going. I don't know, all the kit lenses are pretty much standard and good for starting out and learning. But they are not too good when you are trying to take professional looking photos um, and actually trying to earn money for that. If you are going to do that and earn money, you might as well uh, have the quality equipment that you need. Oh, that also reminds me, so I didn't totally waste money on this lens just for like the better glass and quality. I'm actually going to invest later on into a full frame mirrorless Canon body and that way I could just put this lens on that and well there you go, I'll have like 4K and a good lens and full frame and there you go. I was really trying my best not to get technical with this video because every time I get technical on my channel or within these videos, you guys don't enjoy that and it doesn't get that many views. Not that it's about the views, but I just, you know. If you were like me and you were going to start freelancing and actually earning money for your work um, actively and every day and things like that, like an actual job, invest in quality equipment like I have. However, if you are just doing it for YouTube, uh, you're much better off if you have a crop sensor camera to get something like the 18 or the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. You won't have as good as glass, and you will need a little bit more light than this kind of lens if you want to capture crisp footage. So if you are hand holding that camera out in front of you, you don't have to hold it out quite so far because you are getting this nice wide range of view. But it will be better for just YouTube and not freelancing. It's a major price difference, about a thousand dollar price difference. So yeah, there's something to think about, I guess. Okay, now without making this video too long and boring, I will end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you guys have started a channel recently or have gotten some new equipment for yourself and filmmaking, or if you guys have just invested in new equipment for whatever arts you're pursuing, let me know down in the comments below. Let's kind of mix and match ideas. I want to know what you guys are dealing with. So yeah, other than that, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.